We're here at the 15th International Congress on Anti-Aging Medicine and Bioregenerative Medicine Technologies here in Chicago, Illinois. And I'm here with Dr. David Steenblock, who just gave a very interesting lecture yesterday at our general scientific session. Dr. Steenblock, maybe you can share some of the excellent information you were speaking about yesterday to, at our scientific congress. I'd be happy to, Bob. It's a great pleasure to be here. First of all, thank you for having me. I've been working in the field of legal stem cells. People hear about stem cells on a daily basis, newspaper, radio, whatever, about the miracles that are coming in the future. And, but I'm here to tell you and the doctors here that stem cells are here now and they are legal. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about using your own stem cells out of your own body to heal yourself. These are all natural. They're out of yourself. You don't have any problems with these drug reactions, allergic reactions, graft versus host reactions, and they work. And so here we have, for the first time, stem cells that they're available. They're now. They're legal. They're available for pe people with osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease. We're having like an 80% success rate. Within two or three days, pain disappears. People who are scheduled for hip surgery, the pain goes away. People who have sciatica from disc problems are having results uh, that are phenomenal. We have people who have heart attacks, stroke. Uh, all of these cases have been getting uh, results with, especially if we get to the person within the first 10 days after the acute stroke or after the acute heart attack, the stem cells work uh, immensely well. The technique is very simple. All we do is use a local anesthetic on your leg and sterilize the area and put a needle into your leg bone, your shin bone, take out the bone marrow, and then we put that back either directly into and around a joint or directly into the body through an IV. And the whole procedure takes two, two and a half hours, and it's done and over. And uh, you go home, you have a little Band-Aid on, and uh, you can walk out, you can drive home, and there's no recovery time. It's, it's a very simple procedure, and uh, it's not that expensive. And you can take a person who has been suffering for years, who is on all these drugs, and within a matter of a few days, they can be off their drugs and be out of pain. But what about the difference between, say, systemic application of the stem cells, just giving it through IV, or a specific injection of the stem cells to a particular part of the body like you were speaking in terms of a catheterization to the heart or to a specific area? Well, they're both very good. Uh, the, the thing is that stem cells have to be able to get into the damaged tissue. And so if the damage was many, many years ago, the damage has sealed itself and the blood vessels have sealed themselves over that area. So for example, if you have a stroke five years ago, the blood vessels in that area of the brain that the stroke was involved with, those blood vessels have healed. And so the stem cells just go right through that area and do not settle and do not grow into that area. So you have to do something to open up that area so that the stem cells can get in. So one of the ways is to put a catheter up into the artery there in the brain and inject mannitol, which is a type of sugar, which opens up the blood-brain barrier. Then we put in the stem cells and so they're able to get in. Now, if you don't want to do that, we have a few ways of manipulating the brain that is a little bit less risky. People don't like to stick catheters into themselves. So what we do is we have different techniques. One is uh, the Ondamed, which is a German machine that stimulates electromagnetically that area of the brain. We can also use uh, hypoxia, or lack of oxygen, and there's a device that we use that you breathe or you can sit in uh, and it puts you back basically at high altitude and brings you back down, up and down, up and down, and that taking you up to high altitude, making your body e uh, exist in a very thin atmosphere causes a stress on that part of the brain that has been previously injured, and that stress is enough to upregulate the adhesion molecules within the blood vessels of the brain so the stem cells can go there and attach themselves and enter into the brain and help fix it. So uh, they both work, uh, and if you have, for example, an area that uh, you can get a needle into with them and, and put the needle directly in the, with the stem cells, then, you, of course, you've got the stem cells directly implanted into the tissue. So it's a matter of getting the stem cells where they're supposed to be to make them work, and once you get them there, then the stem cells can really go to town and help repair that tissue. So this technique, I think, is revolutionary. I think it's going to sweep through the world, through, through our nation. I think we're going to have doctors all over the country doing this and offering this to our patients very soon. Thank you, Dr. Seenbach. Thank Pleasure. you. Thank you.